Hi, my name is Charles Wynn with TGS, and um, I have a privilege today to speak to you on behalf of the, of the other Verso partners and tell you a little bit about Verso and the work that we've done with, uh, with OSDU. So, a um, couple of interesting facts. Um, first, Verso is a, uh, is a cool word that was invented by our marketing departments, okay? So, um, it, it actually does have a real meaning. So, back in the old days, it actually was a shortcut for, 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 for Universal, and I think that's kind of why they decided to, to come with that thing. Another cool fact is in 1592, William Shakespeare used the word Versal in some of his poems or, or in, in his stuff. So, just an interesting fact about Versal. So another interesting fact about Verso is that it's a joint venture between CDG, PGS, and TGS, and Slumberjay joined in the fall of 2022. So what is Verso? It's basically a unified um, ecosystem for multi-client seismic data. Okay? We each had our own individual websites that allowed you to go in and, you know, and look at all of our seismic offerings um, from a multi-client perspective. So the, you know, the, the partners got together and decided to build a common system to help you, you know, as operators, get a consistent experience, okay? Um, based on this, you basically have access to, uh, you know, a large portion of the world's multi-client seismic data, okay? And um, basically, some, some of the goals for our system are to make things pretty fast, friendly, and very extensible, and we'll talk about that um, in later slides, right? So you can, you know, easily find your data itself, um, visualize it, download the entitlements um, associated with it, as well as get access to things that may be hard to get to right now, like acquisition reports and contracts and things like that in real time, okay? And um, we really wanted to basically make it usable across users across many different disciplines, okay? So we are partners in Versal, you know, the seismic companies, but we're also competitors. So therefore, it was really important for us to safeguard against things like antitrust and privacy issues, right? And, and that's the kind of stuff that we've been talking about as part of OSDU so far, right? So um, it's administered by a third party. Um, and I think one important concept is that Versal does not store any seismic data, okay? All the data itself is stored independently within our, our own data lakes. And I'll talk about that also in some later slides, right? And of course, the standard safe identity management and, G and GDPR guidelines also apply. So this is a quick um, video of Verso. Let's hope it works. Okay, it does. So um, I'm zoomed into the Gulf of Mexico here, right? And um, I'm gonna move the CEG data to the top, right? So it's an easy to use system. You know, it lets you easily manipulate the maps, for example, right? I'm gonna close that out. And then the next piece of it is, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. And from here, um, if you hover over a survey, or I'm gonna go ahead and move to my entitlements, right? So it'll easily take you right to the entitlements. And then if you hover over a survey, it shows you what um, is the outline of the survey as well as what is entitled, okay? And then once you um, click into it, you can see support documents such as the reports I talked about, the contracts, right? And then if you expand, then you'll see metadata. And this metadata has been standardized across all of the vendors. And then once you open up um, the documents themselves, you can get to hear like an acquisition report, for example, as well as visualize the data itself, right? And, and, and get a preview of um, your seismic data. Okay. So that's just a, a quick, really fast, what Versal is about, okay? So hang on, let me go back one. Okay. So, um, you know, you're probably asking now, well, that's pretty interesting, but what's this have to do with OSDU, okay? So as I get more into the technical bits here, we'll talk about how, this, how OSDU fits into the picture, okay? So what we have first is the green cloud, and the green cloud is what you saw there. It's, it's our website itself, okay? Um, behind the scenes, there is a white cloud, and that white cloud is basically each of our, you know, basically data lakes that um, houses all of our seismic data, all of our metadata, and everything else about um, each of our seismic vendors, okay? Um, and you'll see here that it's truly cloud agnostic because each seismic vendor is on a different cloud. You know, we, we have AWS, Google, Azure represented here, right? Um, and how does Versal pull its data? What happens is whenever you make a request, right, it makes a asynchronous API call at the same time to each of the vendors to pull the data itself, right? 
So again, none of the data is actually stored in Versal. It's actually stored within each of our individual um, you know, white, you know, data lakes, you know, what we're calling you know, the white cloud, right? So what's the OSDU angle here? Well, what we're doing is we're converting all these existing APIs into OSDU APIs, okay? Um, and I think what that's gonna let you do is really um, basically do the same functions that you saw in that user interface previously, but do it from, from any you know, OSDU you know, kind of you know, system that you already have. So how are we doing this, right? Um, what we're doing is we're using the EDS, which is the external data services. I, I think Frank, uh, my other colleague, talked to you guys about that also in his previous presentation. But what EDS is allowing us to do is it's gonna allow non-OSDU platforms and you know, basically our white clouds to communicate and work within the OSDU data platform itself, right? So what it does is it, it functions as an OSDU wrapper into each of our vendors' data lakes, right? So as vendors, we can continue to use our existing systems, you know, without having full-blown OSDU implementations, right? We, you know, at some point we may get there, but right now, this is uh, gonna allow us to kind of get into the OSDU world quickly and get you the data that you're looking for, okay? So um, again, it's a, uh, and I guess another key advantage, advantage is that this is loosely coupled, right? So by building these wrappers and using EDS, we can keep our existing infrastructure in place and, and kind of build functionality quickly and, and allow you to get maximum um, uh, benefit right away, okay? So I wanna take a shout out to DeBassis Chatterjee here. Um, he helped us a lot with the EDS implementation. As a matter of fact, I stole uh, <laughs> uh, some of his slides from a previous EDS to, to basically make this slide. So um, with, his, with his permission, of course. So in this slide, what we see is we have an OSDU um, operator uh, you know, you know, that has their data platform, and then we have a, 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 a traditional data vendor one that's using um, you know, a standard OSDU data platform, and it makes calls like you know, registration and fetching and, and delivery um, as part of, of, of an API. Okay. What the Versal vendors are gonna do is vendors two and three, um, because they're part of the Versal ecosystem, they're gonna implement the very similar APIs using the OSDU EDS, right? So from the operator perspective, it looks, you know, vendors two and three look just like vendor number one, right? So um, it allows, you know, the vendors two and three to basically work within this ecosystem, um, you know, without having a full OSDU data platform um, like vendor one does, okay? So, um, and it gives us some flexibility behind the scenes. So how did we implement these, um, these EDS components, okay? Um, one of our goals was to build as many shared components as possible. Um, we'll also allow each vendor to keep autonomy with its, in its own, you know, with our own individual white clouds, right? So we have at the bottom here, you know, the four vendors, we each have our own data lakes, right? Um, and those are proprietary, right? We, you know, we each do things our own way. But what we have in the middle here are these connectors, right? So this is basically our OSD connector that we have in the middle, right? And it consists of Elasticsearch, a database, and all the API plumbing to make all the pieces necessary. And there's a translation layer between our internal data lakes and this, um, you know, this middle layer here that allows us to talk OSD, right? And each of those boxes is deployed the same way, right? So we're using Kubernetes, um, there's Helm charts to do the deployment, so it makes it really easy to keep it upgraded um, and to keep consistency across all those areas, okay? So one is the benefit. What it allows you to do is, if you're an operator, you can use your standard OSDU APIs and get access to all four of, of this seismic data, right, F from that perspective, right? So you basically can integrate one time with Versal and then get access to all these consistently. So um, I heard this morning a really good phrase that I'm gonna use it over and over again, which is progress over perfection, okay? So um, OSD is hard, it's large and complex, right? So here's an example of kind of progress over per perfection, right? So Versal has some data fields that are not mapped to OSD schemas, right? So what we did is, I guess the slides didn't quite work right. If you look there, the first um, 
the third, fourth, and fifth lines, we're using something called extension properties. And what those properties allow us to do is use fields that are inversal that are not part of standard OSDU, right? So we're doing that in order to, to again, you know, do progress over perfection. We, we want to release a working product that you can use now versus waiting, you know, and doing things better. Now, we are committed to basically using maybe virtual properties or extending the, the you, know, you know, the other properties within OSDU to make it compatible, but right now, um, we really want to get a, a working product. So what are the shared benefits here? Um, for the vendor, it's, it's, it's basically, um, it gives us a, a jump start into OSDU for any virtual participant, right? And I think I talked about earlier, it doesn't require a full OSDU implementation in order to, to, you know, to allow us to talk to um, you know, other people, you know, such as operators, right? From the operator perspective, we get a fat, you know, they also get a fast jump start to connect all the vendor data, right? And I think a key piece is you can do a single integration to access multiple seismic vendors instead of having to do each one individually, right? Um, and I think another key benefit is there's consistency now across the vendors, right? The, you know, the, the vendors have worked very, have worked very hard to, to make our metadata consistent, right? And to make it easy to find and to, to be able to do things like filter across um, seismic data. And um, what are we doing now? We're starting with simple metadata first, right? We want to do registration and fetch and ingest, and, and that's what we're working on right now to get working. And then the next steps are, I think, some of the things that you saw in some of the previous presentations, right? We want to, we want to be able to allow you to download data, visualize it, as well as stream the data, right? So those are things that we want to work on um, in later iterations. So of course, uh, not everything is always uh, smooth sailing. We have run into some challenges. Probably the biggest challenge is basically customer entitlements, right? Um, um, basically, for seismic data, you know, uh, operators don't always license the entire survey itself, right? So they, they license portions of seismic surveys, right? So we've been working on how to represent that within OSDU. We have a solution that's working right now, but um, it may not be ideal. So again, um, basically progress over perfection. Um, we want to get something out there for you to be able to use, right? Um, another challenge that we run into is the acquisition surveys themselves. From the vendor perspective, every reprocess, um, uh, you know, uh, project is another seismic acquisition survey, right? So um, that basically is kind of different from how OSU is mapping it. So we are committed to, you know, to basically doing the mapping um, in a more clean way. But right now, everything is represented as a seismic acquisition survey. And then I think we talked about the other areas already. We want to be able to add flexible visualization, delivery, and streaming mechanisms, right? And then we've also standardized on data elements, but these need to be mapped to um, the proper OSD, you know, or to the OSD data elements, which I, what I showed you in the last slide, okay? So again, we are committed to overcoming these challenges. So Versal is now in production. Trials are in progress. Um, we have a booth upstairs, so please, um, you know, come up there and talk to us. Uh, any of the, you know, the people from any of the companies can talk to you to more about it. Um, and um, there's going to be a, a big announcement in the next few weeks about Verso, so please stay tuned. Um, the EDS development is kind of happening right now, and we want to release the first piece of that in the second quarter of 2023. And next steps that we want to do are we want to build more on the size of DDMS, right? Some pieces like um, some of the pieces that we're talking about to be able to stream the data, download, and do those kind of things. Um, and right now, we're actually using GeoServer and OGC map services like um, WMS and WFS in order to do the maps that, that, that you saw. Um, we also want to work in the geospatial extension zone and move over to that. So that, that way, you'll get you know, uh, APIs that or not just metadata, but also maps themselves, right? So you'll be able to get all the data that, that you're looking for from that perspective, okay? So I wanna thank you for your time, and, uh, and these are the contacts themselves from each of the, the, uh, the partner companies.